This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morrison. Today, we are checking out brand new and kind of old school Maltigo. Yes. So Maltigo is a program built into Kali Linux, which is what I'm going to show you today, that lets you do reconnaissance on any person by scraping up data from all the publicly available areas of the internet. All of them, even the little nooks and crannies. So Maltigo is used for information gathering and data mining, and it can be useful for anybody who needs to gather data on a person or a company. And it can be very, very useful if you're working for a company and you need to find out more information about them. Now for my series on Maltigo, again, I am going to be using Kali Linux on my virtual machine. Uh, to open Maltigo, it's very, very simple. You just type Maltigo into the command line, such as this, Maltigo. Hit enter, and then you just let it load. Now, since it's already built in, I didn't have to install anything, but if you do, just follow the online tutorial over at Maltigo's website, which is Paterva, I believe. Google it. Now, you go through the whole registration process, which is a totally free community version of Maltigo, and then you just sign up. There's also a paid version that can be used for more detailed outputs and for penetration testing in a more business setting, which I definitely suggest using if you need that for major penetration tests. Now, what I'm gonna do first off is open up a blank graph, and then I'm pretty much golden, and I can go ahead and start my very first Maltigo run. So to open a new graph, I go up here to this little new button, has a little plus button on it. Click on it, and it's gonna open this, up this new thing that's titled New Graph. Now you'll notice this thing called the palette on the left side. That is over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this out a little bit so you can see it. So scrolling down this, this is gonna show you all sorts of entities that we can gather data on. You can drag and drop whatever kind of entity that you want to mine data on by simply, and I'm gonna choose domain so I can drag it over here and then drop it. So it automatically sets to paterva.com, but you can obviously change that if you want. Uh, whatever item you end up dragging and dropping onto your graph will end up being a node. For my example, I'm gonna gather data on hack5.org because, ha, I'm allowed to. So I'm gonna type in hak5.org, and I just double clicked on the node to be able to do that. And then hit enter. And there we go. So now it's changed to hack5.org. You can also change this by double clicking inside the domain box on your new graph, but my graph still looks kind of boring. So let's go ahead and gather some specific data. To do so, I'm gonna right click on my domain box and then choose run transforms. So this means that it's going to run a search based on whatever my options depend end up being. So I'll right click on it. There we go. Computer's running a little slow, so bear with me. So over here I can choose run transform, and I can choose whatever kind of transform that I want to run. Ha 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 ha. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look through here and see which one that I want to choose. You guys play along, take a bit of a time to look at all the different options and kind of get an understanding of them, and then I will be right back after the break with even more fun stuff. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which we're totally bringing to DEF CON and I can't wait. It looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard so it can type scripts into a computer crazy, crazy fast, like this week's favorite from Jose B. This payload simply sets up a reverse shell payload on the target computer. It's very simple, very, very easy to run, and of course, we couldn't do this show without your support. So I'd like to thank you personally with something special, Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order from the Hack Shop for your very own signed Hack Tip stickers. Thank you so much for supporting the show. We're back with Maltigo. So now you've gotten a chance to go ahead and run through all the different options under Run Transforms. Go ahead and choose one that you are interested in learning about. So first off, I can run a transform on the email domain associated with hack5.org if I wanted to. And I know that there's a few available out there publicly, so I'm pretty sure I could find like Mubix's email or something like that. So I'm gonna choose emails, click on it. Now it's going to run. 
And then when it's finished, I can scroll down and see what email is available. Now I'm gonna right click again, I'll run a different transform to find some more email addresses. Email at domain, so this should be at hack5.org. Let it go ahead and run. And then we get even more. Okay, here we go. So we have a whole bunch on here. Darren at hack5.org, everybody knows that one. Uh, IT at hack5.org, whenever did we do IT? That's so funny. I wonder if that was some old school thing that happened before I was on the show. Anyway, next I can look for even more information for the website address, which should be hack5.org. I can right click on a server icon. So the next thing I was able to do was look for a website address, which should be hack5.org. So when I get it appearing over here, it says hak5.org. Okay, cool, so that's correct. So now I can right click on this server looking thing and I can choose a transform labored to, labeled two server technologies. So if I right click, I'm gonna look for this two servers technologies. Let's see, two server technologies website. So I click on that and then go ahead and let it run, run again. Okay, now we get a whole nother output down here. Now when I go over here, it shows me even more interesting information. So now when it's done, we can see that Hack5 is running, let's see, uh, jQuery, and it's running PHP, Google Analytics. That's pretty interesting. I can scroll down a little bit farther and see, oh, look, there's WordPress. Hmm, how interesting. So why is this useful? Well, if Hack5 hasn't updated their WordPress credentials in a while, there may be a vulnerability there. Maltigo gives you a really fast and simple way to search for specific information on a website, on a person, on a domain, main on pretty much anything that you want to and return valuable information in just seconds. So it can be really, really useful for if you're working in security at a certain firm and you need to make sure that your stuff's up to date, you can just click it and let it run and there you go. You have your answer in a nice pretty little graph that you can show higher ups if you're working at a firm. And it's also really nice to look at at home too. And since it's so simple and small, you can run it from pretty much any PC. Now let me know what you think. You can comment below or you can email us tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show hack5 at hak5.org for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno lust.